Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy, King Sanders here, and we are back with another day of sports betting. This is going to be for Tuesday, June 7th slate of MLB action. I'm super excited to dive into it. Um, we do have a much bigger slate than um, we did yesterday, but we are still only going to be rocking with two plays that I do really like so far. Um, I, there just wasn't a whole lot that really stood out to me, like, from, like, a... When I was looking at it, I was like, man, you know, that's a that's a really great value there. I didn't really see a whole lot of that. So we are just rocking with two plays that I do think have a really good chance of hitting. Um, and so we are going to be riding with those. But without any further ado, before we hop into it, I did just want to go ahead and say that we are still on the road to 7,000 subscribers. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Next, I did just want to go ahead and give a quick shout out here to all of our members here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do, and thank you guys so much for giving such a small channel such a big chance, as I always say. We are less than 500 subscribers away from that 7,000 subscriber mark, so once again, make sure that you guys are subbed. But... Without any further ado, I guess let's go ahead and recap it. I'm just really excited for tomorrow, which is going to be Wednesday. I'm really excited for the um, for the NBA Finals Game 3. I think that it is going to be just super exciting. There's a couple plays that I have already been looking at. So if you guys do have anything that you guys... Um, any locks that you guys do have, maybe I'll go ahead and shout you guys out in the video. Maybe I'll go ahead and use some of the plays if, you know, if there are any that I do like. So make sure that you guys do drop your favorite lock of the day for the NBA Finals tomorrow. Um, but without any further ado, we're still in the MLB just today. So we'll do a quick recap. Um, one of the games, unfortunately, did get postponed, and that was our Texas and Cleveland game. That one did end up getting postponed. Then we had the Angels. Oh my good lord. They are on a huge losing streak. I just, and it doesn't really make sense. I mean, the Angels are not a bad team by any stretch of the imagination. I just don't know how they're on this big of a losing streak. I really don't. And um, it's it's wild. They're they're definitely in a slump right now. But, you know, that's, that's what sports are, ups and downs. So hopefully they can get right here soon. I just, I truly am in shock. I can't believe that they lost another game in a row. It's, they have to find a win at some point. They, they just have to. But without any further ado, we'll go ahead and dive into our, our two plays of the day. So the first one, yeah, we're running it back. The Texas and Cleveland game, that did get postponed to today, which is going to be for Tuesday, June 7th. So, with that being said, we're taking the exact same play. We're taking Texas and Cleveland under 8.5 runs at minus 110 odds. Now, this this play is... It, I, don't like, I don't like it as much. It was under 9. Now it's under 8.5. So, a lot of people must have been on the under yesterday. And it was for good, very good, solid reasons. So, this is going to be in Game 1, by the way. I'm pretty sure they played two games, if I remember correctly. This is going to be the pitching matchup between... Um, between Cal and uh, John Gray. So that's going to be the game we're talking about here. So first things first, Texas is 14, 9, and 1 to the under on the road, which is the fifth best in the MLB when it comes to under percentage. So I think that we do see a lot of value there. Texas has also gone under in five of their last six games just straight up. So they have had a really tough time not only getting runs, but their defense has also stepped up in pretty big ways. So they've gone under in five of their last six. And um, John Gray... In his last five starts, he has given up one, five, two, four, and zero runs. So he has been a little bit inconsistent, um, but at the same time, he hasn't been giving up like a ton of runs by any stretch other than the five. That was, a, that was a pretty big one, but I do think he pitched like most of the game in that one. So, you know, he did give up five, but hopefully for us, you know, before the bullpen does go in there, he can, he can put up a little less than three. I think we'd be sitting pretty, um, but also Cleveland is nine and ten to the under at home this year. So they do so they do go over a lot more often than not well not a lot more. They do go over a little bit more often than they go under at home. But I still think that this does have some value here. Um, if you look at Cal who is going to be pitching for Cleveland in his five, in his last five starts, he has had um, three, two, one, four, and three runs or three earned runs in his last five starts. So he hasn't really been giving up a whole lot of runs either. So I do think that we do see some value here. Both these pitchers are definitely, you know, not terrible. Um, they haven't been super fantastic. Excuse me. They haven't been super fantastic, but they definitely haven't been bad. So hopefully these two pitchers can hold their ground for us. 
Also, Cleveland is 6-3 and three to the under as home favorites, which um, I truthfully was just looking at my... Um, I was looking at my my notes from yesterday, but it looks like the the it looks like Cleveland is still slight favorites over Texas, so they are still considered favorites. So they do they are six and three to under to the under as a home favorite, and also as a favorite in general, they are eleven and nine to the under. So they do go often under a lot more often than not. So we're gonna be riding with it. Texas and Cleveland under eight and a half runs at minus one ten odds. Now, for our second play of the day, we're going to be taking the Oakland A's plus one and a half on the run line versus the Braves at plus 100 odds. Now, this seems like a trap. So if you guys are going to fade one of my plays, definitely fade this one. It seems like a trap, but I have all the stats backing it up and I'm going for it. So first of all, Oakland is 19 and seven, 19 and seven to the run line on the road, which is the second best in the entire MLB. So they are really, really good at covering whatever their spread is or their run line um, on the road. So I think that we see a lot of value there, first things first. Also, after a loss, which Oakland did just have here recently, they are 19-16 and 16 to the run line following a loss. So they really love to get in those bounce-back situations and really make the most of it. So hopefully that one also works out for us. Also, Atlanta has not been very good at covering the run line at home. They are 10 and 18 to the run line at home this year, which is the sixth worst in the entire MLB. So I think that speaks a lot of volume. I mean, Oakland is really, really good at covering on the road. Atlanta is definitely not good at covering at home. Also, Atlanta, they have been pretty good here recently. I, I will I will be, you know, completely, completely transparent. They have been pretty good here recently. They are, but after a win, they're 11 and 16 following a win. To the run line so i think that you know they're really not good at going on streaks and hopefully that does end up working out for us also cole irvin has a 2.96 era on the year with a two and two record so that is obviously the pitcher for the a's today and so you know he has won two games he has lost two games so he's kind of right in the middle but he does have a pretty solid era with a 2.96 i think this is going to be a very good pitching matchup because on the flip side of things kyle wright he, in his last five games, he does have a 3.14 ERA, which is a little bit higher than his 2.41 on the year. So he has been not struggling. That's the wrong word. But he has been giving up a little bit more runs than um, he has over the course of the year. So with that being said, hopefully hopefully he can do the same for the A's. And hopefully they can give up, give up a decent amount of runs. And if they even win it, sure, go for it. If they want to win the game, I would love that. But... Um, we're just asking them to keep it within one, and I definitely think that they can do that. So that is going to be our second play of the day. Oakland A's plus one and a half on the run line versus the Braves at plus 100 odds. So that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Like I said, we are on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so if you guys are new, make sure that you guys are subbed. Um, but also, make sure you guys drop your, your locks for the NBA Finals game tomorrow. And I might use some of your guys' picks. So um, I do have a couple already in mind that I'm going to be using. But I might make it a longer video, have like four or five picks, make it just a little bit more fun. So without any further ado, that's going to do it for me. This is King Center signing out. Peace.